the fourth and final part of this um, album cover tutorial is about adding the extras. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a um, some lens flare, a little bit of a border, um, and I also want to play with that fire a little bit more in the background. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to look at that fire. So if I just scroll down the bottom here and go to my fire effect, click on that layer. Um, and I want to add a mask, which is this button there. If you can see, you can do that. And what I can do is I can add a gradient to that fire. So if you can imagine, it would go from black all the way down to white. So because it's a, a mask, well, I'll show you what it'll do. So if I click and drag this line up, can you see at the bottom it's gone a little bit, it's faded from, if you like, white to black. There we go, can you see what's happening? If I drag it the other way around, there's it from the bottom. It's really, really nice. I mean, there's the the second tool in from the top. Lots and lots of different things. So let's just let's just go down here. And that's probably that's gonna be alright. One more. Got to get it perfect. Right, lovely. Um, so there we go. I feel pretty good about that. I think that's if you can have a look at what it looks like at the bottom there. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, next, lens flare. I love a little bit of lens flare. Um, so let's give us a go. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go, actually going to go up to the top here. I'm going to add a new layer, which is this here. And let's drag it up to the top, shall we? Um, and I'm going to put a rectangle, use a rectangle tool and just put that on there. Oh, let's drag that up a little bit further. There we go. Um, we got we got the fill up there and it's all good. Now what I want to do is under filter and render, I can add lens flare. Just gonna click OK there. And here it is. You can see the little view of it. You can make it really bright. We can make it a little bit subtle. Now, what I want to do is I want to have this just on the text. So I'm just going to try and guess. I'm going to click OK. And that's what it looks like. That might be a bit too bright, but we'll see. And under here with a blend, I can go to screen. And there we go. So it gets rid of the black and leaves this here. So if I move this around. Um, yeah, I think that looks okay, actually. It might be a bit much, but rather than messing around with it, we'll just leave it like that. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, right-click on the layer and go Duplicate Layer. And I'm just going to leave it like that for the time being. And there we go. And what I want to do is actually add a bit of flair off his necklace here. But I want to change it. It's a bit too bright. So if I go um, up to... Image, Adjustments, and let's do the Hue and Saturation. So move the brightness down a little bit. Let's see if you can move the, like, that's what it looks like if you move the saturation up. Okay. There we go. Now, to be honest, that's probably a little bit too much lens flare up with Jay-Z. Um, but... Do whatever it is that you uh, that you like. So there we go. We got a little bit of the um, lens flare here, a little bit of a lens flare there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a border around it. Now, if you're not one of my students, you probably aren't going to be able to get hold of this border, or maybe you'll be able to find it on the internet. I don't know, but I'll show you what it is first. If I go to open, um, and let's go to Photoshop down here. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, let's go to Dropbox. Go to Photoshop, and I'm after this. I open up, and that's like going to be the border of our CD cover. So I'm going to drag that over to my album cover, 
rest it over the top and it's massive control or command and minus then control or command and T and I'm going to keep my finger on the shift button to constrain their proportions drag it down okay so let's zoom in so that's what it looks like at the moment I'm just gonna oh that's just that's not quite right down here okay lovely I'm just gonna change the blend from normal to screen and there we go look at that kinda nice little board around the sides I I really like it let's just click that to apply and there we go so we just have another maybe another little bit of an adjustment um, with the curves what you want um, and there we go there is one thing that I forgot and that is the parental advisory sticker that comes on hip hop and of course I'm going to open my parental advisory sticker drag it over to my CD cover here that's not the one there he is. Again, it's huge. Transform. Let's move him over. Apply that. And there we go. Let's drag it just underneath that layer. There it is, done. Uh, have a play around. It's uh, I love Photoshop. It's brilliant. Just experiment. So, uh, that's the best thing I can say.